Hello everybody, uh, it's the 1st of September uh, 2020 and as I said I was going to I was going to tackle the air layers on this liquid amber uh, today, 1st of September um, and uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing If you watch my uh, air layer disaster recovery video on the Trident Maple uh, you'll know that I said I was going to carry on leaving this uh, at the time the upper air layer on this was still looking really green that was only 10 days ago um, but I think as you can see despite the sun uh, shining on it it's not looking so good now um, so perhaps I should have cut it off then but uh, I'm just going to chop these air layers off and then we'll deal with them and uh, maybe they can be saved maybe they can't at the end of the day I've still got my liquid amber bonsai which I wanted or tree with two bonsai which I wanted and maybe I won't have three maybe I'll only have the one we will see so in this jumble of leaves the rest of the tree being quite healthy um, I have the base of these this pot and I'm gonna try and get in there with the cutters and uh, just simply removes the whole top part of the tree uh, that's held on by a piece of wire right sorry about this everybody but uh, there we go we have uh, the lower air layer which as memory serves was with a compost mixture um, as I'd seen on the interweb and the upper one which was sphagnum moss and uh, then people told me you can't do two on one branch and well we will see what we we can see so i'll put those to one side a moment um, and then we can look at this liquid amber i'm not going to repot it i'm going to repot this in the spring it's got a really nice chunky little trunk with some good taper down at the base here so um, some potential there I feel it's certainly a healthy tree um, with some potential but I'm going to leave it as it is for the rest of this summer um, it can grow on now to its heart's content um, it's supposed to have an absolutely glorious uh, autumn colour so I'm looking forward to seeing that uh, if it's anything like the picture it'll be nice and um, yeah let's put that to one side and we'll work on the others um, yeah, they're actually both looking a little bit um, the worse for wear so as I say, 10 days ago they looked healthy, but a lot can happen in 10 days, I suppose. We've had some severe windstorms and things. This one feels very light, so maybe it dried out too much. But, uh, if we get rid of the debris here, probably should have brought in my box, but uh, never mind. And then we will see what's inside. If you saw the last one you saw that it had calloused up and I'd hoped it was the start of some rooting but we shall see it's, it's almost like the callus has shrunk um, it has callus okay so um, I've removed the base here and I've uh, just Rescarred the callus and removed a few of the top growths, a few of the leaves, some of the dead leaves. And uh, I'm now gonna. Someone suggested after the last video that I wrap it in sphagnum, so I'm gonna reuse some of the sphagnum and uh, then it's gonna go in this pot with some seed and potting compost and uh, rough grit mixed 50 50. as I did with the trident maple 
and uh, we will treat it as a large well, sort of hardwood cutting over the winter and maybe just maybe it'll sprout for me as I say um, I wanted a liquid amber I thought I'd try the air layering just as an experiment because I saw this technique with the um, cheese pots that I had not tried before and if I get three liquid ambers out of it I get three if I get just the one then I've still got just the one that I wanted so so that's that I'll give that a drink of water in a minute Okay, here we go with the second. It's feeling heavy and wet, which is, um, at least it hasn't dried out. Maybe it's been too wet, who knows. At least the leaves look a little healthier. Uh, they're not as good as on the original tree. There's a slug in there. And, uh, no sign of any kind of callousing, no sign of any kind of root growth at all, which is very disappointing. Um, at least with the Trident Maple, I had a big callus on both. So let's cut off that part. Um, and uh, we'll do a bit of rewounding around the edge just to expose the cambium layer and um, again I'm going to stick it into some gritty compost and uh, treat it as a large cutting um, hardwood cuttings will ro uh, will take this time of year over the winter. Um, and we will see how that goes. At the end of the day it looks like I'm only going to have uh, one liquid amber. <laughs> but you never know. Stranger things have happened. Just trim off a few of the upper leaves, just to reduce the transpiration. And poke it down into the soil. There we go. So that's it, an unsuccessful, possibly, experiment. It certainly wasn't successful in terms of getting air layers to root. Will I try again? Oh, I don't know. Um, I've never ever got an air layer to work using lots of different methods. This was just a new one that I thought I would try. Um, and let's take out that bit. That bit's not doing anything. If it lives, that'll make a better leader. So uh, we have what I had hoped would be Ma and two babies, but uh, I think probably not now. Uh, rough guess, top one with the uh, sphagnum moss it was too dry and the bottom one was too wet I don't know maybe liquid amber don't do well with um, air layering maybe they do maybe it's just me like as I said I've never had any luck air layering anything um, ground layering yes but air layering no anyway that's it for this video Thank you for sticking with me. And in these troubled times, please, please look after yourselves. Stay safe.